hello welcome to this video in this video I'm going to teach you how we can implement a GPIO in Zboard as we know that Zboard has two parts PL and PS in PL programmable logic we implement our logic and in PS processor system we check verify either our logic is right or wrong so this is PL part and this is PS part so in this video I'm going to implement a GPIO and that GPIO will be implemented in PL part programmable logic and this GPIO will be tested in PS part processor system okay in this uh, lecture I'm going to use two GPIO one is for let and second is one for switch so I will take inputs this point is connected to the switches which are present on the board and this point is connected this one sorry this one is connected to the LEDs which are present on the board so I will take inputs from the switches and these input goes through this is AXI light interface to, in, to AXI interconnection to the processor and this processor give these inputs through AXI interconnection to GPIO LED and these result will be shown on the LEDs which are present on the board okay let's start so let's create a new project okay from the board select cyber because we are going to implement our logic in Zybo board okay this is Zybo board these are default setting if you will see Zybo is the product of Zinc 7000 and his family is uh, its family is Zinc 7000 package speed great okay next <coughs> okay so first step is create block design you can change the name okay Let's click here you can also click here so click here type system so so if you will see here we have one part processor system and two GPIO and this AXI interconnected sorry AXI interconnection will be generated automatically so I have uh, taken PS processor system first step is click on run block automation Okay, double click on it in the PS uh, just like that disconnect these things because we are not going to use this stuff uh, okay let the rem remaining setting by default okay 
okay we have a PS processor system okay uh, next part is to write GPIO so that one is our, our GPIO click on run connection automation so click here okay click here and uh, enlarge it so we have one GPIO but if you will see here this is our PS part processor system and this one is AXI interconnection okay as we have one GPIO we need one more GPIO okay this one is our new GPIO so one thing we have to do because uh, we have two different GPIO right click on it so increase the number of master two okay okay if you will see here we have an extra pin here because we need to connect this one to the this one if I will if I will uh, select here and run connection automation so here I have AXI1 this one so okay so it is connected automatically if I will uh, reset my system you can see here we have done our job because if you will see we have PS processor system we have AXI interconnection we have two different GPIO but the thing the remaining thing is that we have to connect this pin to the board pins for example if we click here gpi 0 so let switch we have four different switches in the board okay right click here make external the same way okay this is our switch we also need lead so make them that okay also make them external okay we have done with the system we are ready to check either we have any mistake or not save it so first of all we have to see here if, if, we, if we will click on the address editor behind the below the processor system you will see data in data we have exi gpio 0 GPIO 1 they have different addresses these addresses will be used later on in the SDK part so be careful if you will not see these things here it's mean it means you have some error in your design and okay let's check click here validate test successful it's mean 
It means there is no error or critical warning in my design. The next thing is go to the project manager, click here, right click, generate output products. Generate. Okay, the next part is uh, create HDL wrapper. Okay, okay, we have done with the project again. If you will click here in the down, 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 down. Okay, we have GPIO input, these inputs will be connected to the switches and we have output gpio 1 try 0 or uh, o o means output so these will be connected to the switches sorry to the led leds so we have to uh, we have to add xdc file in order to connect these pin to the led or uh, switches which are present on our board okay let add that uh, xdc file add or create next you can download that file from uh, uh, xilinx or uh, digilem official website That one is the file which I have downloaded from the Xilinx official site xilinx.com. Can download that one. Click here. Okay. Finish. Let me copy the switch value. If you will go down under constraints. You will see a cyber master xdc file if you will go down and down, down here you can see we have switches different switches but we have to change the name of these things because uh, we have that one this one okay we have connected the switches which are present on the board with the gpio no we need to connect switches sorry led with the gpio again go back to the design just let me copy that one this will be connected to the led which are present on board go down okay we have let okay so switches and LEDs which are present on the board are connected 
to the GPIO which are present in our design. So next step is to generate a bit file in order to download that bit file into the board. Okay, next step is click on here generate bit file. Yes. Okay. It will take 5 to 10 minutes. So I am pausing the video and uh, in the next part of the video I will sh uh, show how we can verify either our system is working or not. Uh, we will verify our system uh, on SDK 